Even if you don't have five acres to play with, this garden is a wonderful example of what you can do with a little bit of passion. Designed, built and created by the owners, welcome to Wingspread Garden here in Telangi, Victoria. I'm Chloe from Been There Dug That. Let's go behind the garden gate. This 150 metre long driveway leads us down to the house and even more garden beyond. It's lined with beautiful Japanese maples. We're here in spring, but can you imagine this in autumn? With a higher altitude, lots of rainfall and cool winters, this area is famous for its rhododendrons, camellias and azaleas. And check out this rhododendron, it is huge and it's smothered in flowers. This rhododendron is one of the original plants that was here when Keith and Andrew bought the property 14 years ago. But there wasn't much else here. From this small lawn up near the guest house, we get glimpses to the north of the house beyond and also Mount Tanglefoot in the background. This garden really utilises borrowed landscapes to make it feel even bigger than it really is. This area gets really strong winds, particularly northerlies, and you'll notice that a few of the trees and shrubs have a bit of a lean to them. Check out the shape of this tulip tree. It's really obvious where the wind comes from. Wow, you have got to see the view that this guest house has. Like all good DIYers, Keith and Andrew broke this big garden down into smaller, more manageable spaces to tackle one by one. They started with this area closest to the house and to the guest house, and then they expanded beyond. How magic is this stand of silver birch? This whole garden is not on any irrigation. They will admit though that the soil volcanic, rich and beautiful. So these silver birch have established really well in this area. Planted beneath these silver birch are thousands of jonquils that come into flower before the silver birch put on their leaves. So can you picture this in early spring and this is a sea of jonquils. The smell would be amazing as well. Now it might look a little bit odd that there's a gate here in the middle of nowhere, but down here are some freshly planted camellias and these replace a big old Westringia hedge that had gotten too big and woody in the centre. So these camellias were planted with longevity in mind. And the views just keep on giving. Now from here the garden gently slopes down towards a little creek. But before we explore down there, I want us to have a look at some small little garden spaces I've spotted around the house. Even in a big garden with lots of open space and huge towering gums, it's nice to have a smaller space that feels really enclosed. And how's this for a cute little parterre right next to the house? There's a water feature beyond as well, which has a lovely sound. Keith tells me that this parterre is made up of 450 box hedges. It's hard to believe, isn't it? This garden is all about layers, layers of plants, layers of colour. How gorgeous are these bearded iris? Keith and Andrew tell me that they're as tough as old boots and they keep on keeping on.
How's that for a pool with a view? The continued use of burgundy, green and yellow foliage plants continues from the front yard here into the backyard and it really connects the two spaces nicely. Let's go and explore the back. It's so peaceful back here. I can picture sitting out on this lawn or enjoying a cup of tea, perhaps a glass of champagne. And if you get a little bit bored of doing that, how about a game of tennis? This tennis court space is inspired by the fenceless tennis court at the Dame Elizabeth Murdoch Cruden Farm. The guys installed this without a fence because they didn't want the fence to disrupt the eye line. And the tennis court now nestles into the garden space and feels really at home. It doesn't feel like it's stuck in the middle of the garden. It feels like it belongs. from the tennis court and off the gazebo, I'm walking past yet another beautiful forest pansy with its dainty brand new heart-shaped leaves. One of my favourite trees. Through this gorgeous avenue and down towards the mini arboretum, which is the new planting of the garden. Underneath this stand of maples is thousands of bluebells that have just finished, but at the beginning of the spring, they would be magic. This area of the garden is newly planted. It's a mixture of beautiful trees just to create interest and colour. It's their mini arboretum, and this will be the space to watch grow as the garden evolves. They do have a problem with rabbits, particularly with new plants. So in this bed with the lilacs and the freshly planted chrysanthemums, they've had to install a little fence to help to keep the rabbits out. Keith and Andrew have also found that if they sprinkle blood and bone around, the smell of it helps to deter the rabbits. what's behind this incredible Westringia hedge. Look at this beast. When you wiggle it like this, it almost feels like jelly. Now in here is a small picking garden, some flowers, and behind this rosemary hedge, behind these orchard trees, is a berry patch. Now, if it was the peak of summer, I would be sitting here stuffing berries in my face. I can spot raspberries, blueberries. There's even some pomegranates down the end. There's some currants in here and more blueberries down here. Yum. If you've got cold winters and a heavier soil, then you of course have to plant peonies. They might look dainty and delicate, but they're as tough as old boots.
I love the way the house in the garden has kept and honoured these massive mountain ash behind me. These are over 80 years old and they really are a feature of the garden. So if you are a DIY gardener and you want to create a space that is completely your own, give it a go. Let Keith and Andrew inspire you from what they've achieved, even if you don't have a big property like this. Now this garden is open about every three or so years, so make sure you follow them on Instagram so you can check out when their next open garden is. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe and see you next time.